On power-up, the control goes through a self-diagnostic. This also occurs after the control's reset key is pushed. After the self-diagnostic phase, the control will report the current maximum output percent setting, the current fuel setting as natural gas or LP gas, the current altitude setting below or above 5,000 feet, followed by burner diagnostic tests A and P. See the service manual for details regarding these tests. Without a call for heat, the control goes into standby, indicated by status 0 and service 0 on the display. Call for heat, sequence of operation. Call for heat LED on, pre-ignition tests 1 and 2. P-test is performed, the same as it was for reboot phase on every call for heat. Step 3, pre-purge time, is approximately 60 seconds. For time's sake in this video, we're going to jump ahead to the end of pre-purge. Step 4, for a 186 burner, the choke valve opens. For a 286 or 311 burner, the damper closes. Let's look at step 4 and 5 with a 311 burner. At call for heat step 4, the damper closes. At step 5, the damper returns to the open position. Step 6 is the flame stabilization period. This is where the control checks to ensure that the flame is stable before releasing it to the temperature controller. Step 7. Modulation is released to the Videotronic temperature control. At call for heat step 8, the burner is shut off. Post purge is approximately 10 seconds. The control then returns to the standby mode.